In between playing other titles, I decided to check out Blasphemous, a Metroidvania-style side-scrolling game with an interesting story and spectacular landscapes, fraught with design cues popular in the genre. From the first few hours alone, the difficulty of this game is already apparent, but there was another thing that immediately became clear. As I traversed its world, I noticed that the visuals are heavily influenced by the religion of Christianity in terms of its various denominations, practices, and most of all, art. Numerous examples can be found throughout the game, such as enemies that look similar to the Flagellants, which according to worldhistory.org is a group of zealous Christians who roam the streets whipping themselves for their sins along with the rest of humanities, among other things. We can see that in action as their idle animation does exactly that. There's also an NPC named Gemino, who was tied to a tree and shot with arrows. If this looks familiar to you, that's because it has a very strong resemblance to a painting of Saint Sebastian by Giovanni Antonio Bazzi, as seen on Le Galerie degli Uffizi's website. Even in the opening cutscene, there is a subtle reference to a wildly held practice by many Catholics at Mass. I'm using a couple of screenshots from a holy mass covered by EWTN as an example. During the introductory rites after greetings and sign of the cross, the priest may choose for everyone to recite the confetior, a penitential prayer where one's sins are acknowledged and seek God's mercy. When the words, through my fault, through my fault, my grievous fault, are uttered, many attendees will softly beat their chest three times. Not necessarily with the base of a statuette, but with a closed hand, as a gesture of sincerity. So the cutscene is not only thematically similar to the practice, the phrase when translated to its original Latin form also reads, Mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa, the very name of the penitent one's sword. With that said, these resemblances made me ponder on the question, is this game trying to paint Christianity in a specific color palette? In my opinion, the answer to that is no. As an example, I present to you the boss battle scene against Ten Piedad, the most obvious of all references I've seen so far. His resting position is almost a mirror to a marble sculpture by Michelangelo Bonarotti called Madonna della Pieta that represents the moment when Jesus was taken down from the cross and is given to his mother, Mary. The image we're seeing here is from italianrenaissance.org. The arena itself is also an interior of a church, and in its background we can see the ruins of a destroyed pulpit. So does this mean that Ten Piedad is the son of God in this game and this is a statue of her mother? According to the thorn symbol, no. He refers to the statue as the Lady, and his background story is entirely different. This is a good representation of how skin deep the references are in this game. Underneath the surface and all the way down to its core, this is a wholly unique religion with its own set of rules, practices, and history. Now, you might be wondering, why did the Game Kitchen chose Christianity as one of their main inspirations among others? Invoking the law of simplicity, I have a couple of ideas. First off, the development team is from Spain, which makes their familiarity with the subject quite profound. Second, as an observation from a secular standpoint, the Catholic Church in particular is rich in iconography meaning physical representations of what they consider important, such as in statues, paintings, effigies, relics, etc., like the examples I mentioned earlier and those found across the game. There are simply a lot of materials to work with that are rife with creative potential. The fact that the story is encapsulated within a bipolar nature of the grievous miracle is nothing short of brilliant. This is a great game as far as I can tell, and a welcome addition to the ones we usually cover on this channel.